Hello, it's Peter again. A few days ago, my five-year-old daughter Serena came up to me while I was working and asked what I was doing. I tried to explain as simply as I could that I was creating a new computer language where you can draw things. She asked, what can you draw, daddy? I showed her different geometric shapes and objects moving across the screen. Then she said, daddy, draw a rainbow. I answered that it might take quite a while to make a rainbow, that I would probably need to use the polygon object, and that the code would end up being quite long. Later that evening, after she had fallen asleep, I thought to myself, why not just create a new object called rainbow instead, so I can surprise her the next morning. So today, I'd like to show you how it turned out, and how to create a rainbow in 3D basic. A little tribute to my daughter. The rainbow attribute needs five values. First the radius, then the thickness, the width, and the number of segments. If you want a very smooth rainbow, I recommend around 100 segments. Of course, you can change the rainbow's colors with the faces system, but by default, it comes with all the colors you'd expect from a real rainbow. Finally, I'll use the move and rotate attributes to place the rainbow in the 3D space just where I want it. I'll also add a small landscape, this time in pink, because I know that will make my daughter happy. Click the link in the description if you do like to try this yourself.